So we're all aware that the greatest horse in the game, aka Rapidash, got itself a Galarian form recently. I mean, it was actually Ponyta, but today we are going to uh, be laddering in the PU tier with a Rapidash team just to see if we can get this thing to absolutely drop some napalm on some people. So, uh, we're going to go through a little bit of a team recap here, and then we're going to go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, first of all, we got the absolute monster itself, uh, Fire MZ, uh, Rapidash, working with uh, flash fire, we got Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, Will-O-Wisp for some late game burns, and High Horsepower. This thing is really fast uh, in the PU tier, and it's going to work out pretty well, I'm hoping. We got just 252 speed and attack, uh, working with Jolly, just to make sure we outspeed some stuff. Next up, we have kind of a secondary um, special defensive wall with Assault Vest Hitmonchan. Working with Iron Fist, we have Drain Punch, uh, Mach Punch, just for some uh, some nice priority. We have Rapid Spin to get rid of them, uh, them hazards and Thunder Punch just for coverage. So this thing is gonna have some HP investment along with enough speed to get us to be able to outspeed some Aggrons and other than that, just max attack adamant. So uh, I do actually really like using Hitmonchan and PU. It seems to always come in clutch. So next up we got the H face himself. Uh, we just have a defensive wall uh, with Regirock just essentially for Stealth Rock support, be able to toxic some stuff uh, with Rock Slide and Earthquake for coverage. Next up we have Lantern. Uh, Volt Absorb, just because that would be pretty nice for Swana. Uh, but this thing is essentially just a bulky pivot. Um, it, it does have some HP investment along with special defense and defense. So this thing is basically just there to take hits all day, get some toxic on stuff. Uh, also have Heal Bell for some utility. And uh, yeah. Next we have Swana. I honestly don't. I, I randomly just decided to use Swana. Don't even ask me why. But Choice Scarf Swana is absolutely, absolutely about to destroy some stuff. So. Uh, we're working with just Hurricane, Brave Bird, Scald, and Ice Beam. Uh, we are going to be mixed, so Brave Bird might come in handy there. But other than that, we are just going to be um, max special attack and speed. So Swana with actually the, with the Choice Scarf is not usually expected, so we'll see if this thing can kill some stuff too. That could be pretty fun. And then last, we have <laughs> the, uh, the random little mushroom boy. Um, we're going to be working with the Culber Berry because I want to try to catch some people using knockoff on this thing. Uh, we'll be able to potentially set up some nasty plots after the Culber Berry gets knocked off, and then Psy Shock and all of that does pretty well. I don't know if this thing's even going to work, but we are just going to be max special attack and HP, so it has some chances to take some hits, and uh, it should be pretty fun. But that is the team we're going to be working with today. Before we hop into the ladder, uh, today's video is actually sponsored, so check it out. So you guys know that I don't ever promote things unless I actually believe in the product, and this one's actually really cool. Raid Shadow Legends is a mobile RPG game that is completely free and it can pretty much be compared to like PC and console titles. Uh, this game does look really amazing for a mobile game in my opinion. That makes it pretty great because it's got all the features you can expect from like a brand new RPG title. Uh, a great storyline, hundreds of champions to collect. It's got all the good graphics and pretty much the whole shindig. Uh, 10 million players worldwide have downloaded this in 6 months, uh, so it's kind of a big deal. So right here, I'm able to show off the graphics of the champions. You're actually able to uh, fully customize and choose all the artifacts to design your own unique characters, which I'm all about. But so this right here is my newest and rarest champion. Uh, she is a demon spawn and I definitely have nightmares about this chick, but she'd be out here straight up snapping people's necks and uh, it's super satisfying. So this game has more than 300,000 reviews with almost a perfect score. Also, the Faction Wars feature was just added and is now currently live, which is highly anticipated. There's also a new rewards program for new players. Daily logins give you all sorts of cool stuff for the first 90 days. You guys can find me under the Nick Haydon and join my clan. Go ahead and hit that special link in the description to get 50,000 silver for free, along with a free Epic Champion, which is huge. Uh, it's part of the new player program. But uh, good luck and I will see you there. Battle number one has been found. And this man is rocking the far-fetched. He knows what is happening. Okay, so uh, potential Amistar lead, although it's probably going to be Shell Smash, and that's kind of scary, so that makes me not want to lead off with Regirock. Uh, other than that, he does have the Lorantis. Regirock's not looking too hot here, but um, let's go ahead and... What should I lead off with? What are we What are we thinking? I kind of want to lead Swana, but that's probably not the bad. Maybe Hitmonchan might be the best option. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of tough. Hitmonchan does actually does look pretty nice here. We're leading with the Hitmonchan, as he's going to lead off with the Lur Lurantis. Uh, so that's fine. This thing is could be just superpower and physical. Uh, let's actually just go right for a Drain Punch here. We can, If it's going to Leaf Storm us, we can take that pretty nicely. That was when I wish I had Ice Punch. We're just going to go right for the Drain Punch here. 
Uh, it does do over half and he is going to superpower. So that is super annoying. Okay. Well, that did a clean 63% to us. And uh, we can't really go into Regirock because these things definitely carry Leaf Storm. Um, we're expecting another superpower here. I think I might just go Swano. We're going to go right into the Swano. And there's another superpower. So that even does a 60% to us. Yeah, Lurantis is an absolute monster with them striped pants. All right. Well, now we just have to click. Um, I kind of want to go Hurricane. I'm pretty sure Brave Bird would still kill. Uh, we could actually just Ice Beam. We're going to click Hurricane. Kind of a risky maneuver, but he is going to go into the Amistar. And that's going to do... Oh, we get the Confusion, though. Which is super nice. So we're expecting probably Stealth Rock here. Potentially... Um, could go for the Shell Smash, uh, which would kind of suck. Let's actually, let's switch back into Hitmonchan here and hope it hits itself. Nope, it's going to go for the Ancient Power. And, okay, that's fine. So the good news is it did not, um, it did not go for the Shell Smash, but this thing could potentially be faster if it's max speed. I don't think it would be. We're going to go for the Drain Punch here. It's going to go right back into the Lurantis. And it does knock it down to five. We get some clean health back. And now we can just finish it off with a mock punch. So, uh, the threat of Lurantis is gone. Rapidash would have done well taking care of that thing, but it's totally fine. All right, so in comes a Firo. And this thing is very interesting. He has a Firo and a Dodrio. I was just thinking, I was like, Firo is kind of just inferior to Dodrio. But this man's rocking both, which is interesting. So, he's going to anticipate a switch. Regirock is the obvious option here. Uh, are we thinking he's going to U-turn? Do we expect the U-turn? Um, Hitmonchan does look pretty nice still here. I mean, actually, not really with the two birds around. We're gonna let's <laughs> let's uh. Man, this is this is kind of a risky maneuver. I'm expecting him to go for the U-turn, uh, but I'll, even though he's actually playing from behind here, he'll probably just go right for the Brave Bird. To be honest, let's go Red Rock. I was gonna stay in there and try to go for a Thunder Punch for some shenanigans, but no, he's just actually gonna uh, drill pack. I mean, so we take absolutely nothing from that, and now we can go ahead and set up the Stealth Rock. So it's going to limit his three birdie switches. He's rocking the Farfetch'd, Firo, and Dodrio. So quite the team you got there. Sarah Stealth Rock does well uh, because Flareon as well. So this thing comes in, gets its guts. Guts Flareon, huh? This is actually, we can obviously take an attack from this thing. I want to go for the Rock Slide, but I feel like it's going to miss. But we're going for it anyways, boys. Superpower does 51% to us. Going to get that defense drop. And we actually do land the Rock Slide. So that is pretty nice. H-Face doing the damn thing. And in comes the Amistar, who is now, I'm afraid this thing is for sure going to Shell Smash. But I mean, Earthquake actually knocks it out here. Nope, he's going to Surf. Okay, well, Regirock going down there probably actually wasn't the safest bet. Um, I was really thinking he was going to try to set up. But that is fine, because now we can just go back into Hitmonchan. Drain Punch on anything he switches into is going to give us a lot of health back. And then potentially Mach Punch might, might knock some stuff out after... Uh, the stealth rock damage so you know let's just go right for the drain punch he's actually just gonna stay in and lord helix goes down so hitmonchan so far absolutely doing the damn thing and in comes the Firo. so gonna expect i mean these things do get drill run so lantern i mean we're bulky as hell though i, th I think i want to go lantern we're gonna switch into f focus energy hello S excuse me what what's going on here <laughs> He's gonna focus energy. Okay. Well then, uh, let's just click Scald one time. He's now gonna return. Gets the critical hit, and <laughs> it's gonna knock me out. Bruh, I just got focus energy. What is even going on here? So Napalm does outspeed, and we can just finish it with a Wild Charge. I'm thinking about actually putting Electrium Z on Napalm instead. Uh, wild Charge does knock out the Firo, and that is fantastic. So. Now he's got the two birds left. He can't go into Farfetch'd. He has to go into Dodrio, who does outspeed. Um, but does Dodrio knock me out here is the question. Uh, this is actually a little bit scary. I don't think we can live a Brave Bird from this thing. Maybe maybe we actually can. Honestly, I feel like we can. We're going for the fucking Inferno Overdrive. Either way, it's going to actually just return. It does knock me out. That's fine. And this thing, did we see? It's probably, it's probably choiced to be honest. Um, I'm expecting probably choice banned. Um, we can, I, we should be able to live with this bulky boy right here. So let's just go for the Psyshock. He's actually just going to switch into the Fetched, which is actually interesting. 
this thing's gonna come in and take stealth rock damage, but I do think that we can still take an attack. So, Dudrio sitting at about half. We are just going to Psy Shock the shit out of you, sir. Brave Bird it doesn't quite knock us out, and the Psy Shock is gonna finish it for us. So that is the end of game one, and so far the team is looking nice. Let's see if uh, we can't get it to keep going. We got ourselves into game number two, and we see another Lorantis, which is annoying, but we should be able to work around that. Also, this guy's rocking the Carbink, so shout out to this man's taste, looking pretty nice. Uh, I think in probably Carbink lead for potential dual screen, which is kind of scary. Also, this might be a Trick Room team. This has got to be a Trick Room team. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. All right, we're going to have to play around some shit here today, boys. Uh, let's go ahead and lead with... I want to lead with Regirock again, uh, just in case getting up Stealth Rock is going to be nice. He does lead with the Carbink. Uh, so this thing is definitely going to go ahead and set up either some Stealth Rock or some screens or some Trick Room. Does, does Carbink Trick Room? I have no idea. We're going to just rock from the... Oh my god, he magic coats. Okay, well, I'm just going to bounce it right back. So now he can just Stealth Rock again, as uh, he basically could have just gone for Stealth Rock himself there, which is interesting. But all right, so now there's a Trick Room. This thing is going to be faster. Um, and Trick Room is super scary for a Crabominable. Also, the Drampa is a threat, and damn, we're gonna have ourselves an interesting match here. I do know that I need to, in order to work around Drampa, we definitely need to keep Assault Vest Hitmonchan healthy. Um, the Crabominable is, is kind of a threat. I don't even know what kind of move pool those things are working with, to be honest, like Hammer Fist and Ice Punch. We're just gonna Toxic here. Uh, it goes into the Lorantis which is fine, and now we have to worry about um, the Leaf Storm. So, Sawana can take neutral damage from that, but with the <laughs> with the Trick Room around, we're going to have ourselves quite the time. Um, I'm assuming he is going to just go right for the Leaf Storm here. If we stay in, we die, which is super bad. Um, we honestly just need to wait for this Trick Room to run out. So it's like, who wants to switch in at this point? Sc Scarf Swana seems like kind of the weakest link here. Uh, it would be useful if we can kind of work around the Trick Room, but we're going to switch into... Let's go into Swana here. Seems like it's kind of our only bet. Uh, he actually just goes for the Superpower. So we take that. Uh, we are able to at least burn a turn of, uh, of Trick Room. So there's two turns left on that. Swana is sadly going to have to go down here. We're just going to click Brave Bird. He gets two superpowers off, so at least the good news here is that it doesn't have um, a special attack boost, which is kind of nice. Uh, Regirock still can't take shit from that, though. This is bad. This is not not good, ladies and gents. Okay, we could go Hitmonchan and potentially live something, but then we don't have anything for the Drampa. Ooh, this is not, not what we're looking for here. I think what I need to do... I need to go into Lantern. It seems like, well, Lantern would be really nice for the crap abominable. Oh man, what do we do? What do we do? As long as we can end this matchup with the Trick Room away, Napalm can come in uh, and get a lot going with a Z Flare Blitz. I think we just have to let something die at this point. Hitmonchan's too useful. Regirock is looking kind of like we're gonna, we're gonna need. We're going into Regirock. Fuck it, we're going. For the rock slide here, this thing does have to finish it off. Oh, actually, we're going to live the Leaf Blade, which I definitely did not expect. With the plus two, Red Rock be bulky. It's interesting that he still doesn't even have Leaf Storm. Okay, well, uh, this puts us in a, an interesting position because now he could just go right back into the Carbink. And uh, that thing is annoying because this is going to set the Trick Room up again. So we need to figure out a way to get around that. So let's go... Hmm. We're going we're going into the alien here. This thing is I don't think he's gonna switch out, he's just gonna superpower again. Okay, so we take that though, which is nice. And it does die to the next poison damage. This thing is probably gonna be rocking um no speed investment, so we should actually be able to outspeed here. So let's just go for the signal beam. It's gonna knock out the Lorantis. I wanted to be able to set up, I kind of expected the carving to come in there. Uh, so the carving does now come in, and this is when I really wish that my alien was working with no speed, but this is kind of a tough matchup for us. We can't really nasty plot, because after he sets up the trick room again, we're just going to get out sped by something and die, so kind of a bummer. We're just going to go right for the side shock here. He actually got the citrus berry too, so he's going to set up the trick room yet again. 
And I think I probably should have clicked Trick Room there. What is this thing even gonna, what is Carbine even gonna do? We're gonna Nasty Plot here. Uh, so we are, he's actually just gonna explode and we live it with 5%. So down goes the Carbink. But this man just has the threats left. He's got the Dram Pot, which is gonna come in here and uh, basically destroy me. So we're just gonna Psy Shock. Hyper Voice does knock us out. And uh, the good news is we still have Hitmonchan around. Um, Hitmonchan's looking pretty good for everything except for this damn thing. He's also got a Starvin' Marvin. So let's go Hitmonchan. Um, we are going to... The good news is Carbink is dead. He doesn't have any more Trick Room other than I think uh, these do carry it. So let's just Drain Punch. He's going to Hyper Voice. Uh, we're able to live that because Assault Vest and Drain Punch does knock it out. And we're also able to get back to pretty much full. So we still have a chance here. In comes... Behem, we're going to have to switch here. I think I need to go. Oof! If this, if this thing starts to, if this thing starts to set up just like mine does, we're in kind of a bad spot. Um, I can't really hard switch into Napalm here, but what I can do is I can go into Lantern. Uh, we could potentially get up like a Toxic on this thing. He's just gonna Psychic. Okay, so it doesn't do much. Luckily, we don't see the setup there. Uh, let's go for. Let's actually go for a Volt Switch here. No, no, no. We don't want a Volt Switch. Hold up. So this thing is probably... It's definitely going to be slower than us at this point. We're just going to Toxic. I didn't want a Volt Switch because then I have to... Okay, we get Synchronized, which is a bummer. Sets up the Trick Room yet again, uh, which does suck. So now it's going to be faster, but we can live an attack from it. And now is when we go for... We need Napalm. Uh, this Trick Room really, really hecked me up. <laughs> Oof, let's just go for a Scald. I think I have to. He's actually going to bust out the Z-Power. So Shattered Psyche is going to... Psyche is going to knock us out. And with the... And with that Trick Room, we're just not looking good here. Luckily, he did use a Z-Power, though. We could go into Napalm. We can bust out the Z-Move. Um, he's got three turns left. We need Napalm. Oof, no, Napalm can't take an attack from this. I don't think. After this Stealth Rock damage, I'm pretty sure we're dead. Uh, what I need to do is I'm going to go Red Rock. And essentially just die here, which doesn't really matter too much. We only have two turns left. Actually, this was not good. Hit Monchan. I'm trying to figure out. Napalm can... Er, we would need to save the Z for uh, Dino. Crabominable dies to a Flare Blades after Stealth Rock damage, I'm pretty sure. Hit Monchan's just actually going to be able to live an attack here. But we can go for a Thunder Punch and then potentially Mach Punch after the Toxic damage. Let's try this out. Hold up. We're going with some quick decisions here, but maybe this might work out. Let's go for a Thunder Punch. Assault Vest coming in clutch. We live with 11%, and the Toxic Damage is going to knock it out. So there's two turns left, or one turn left on Trick Room, which is great. We have a free Mach Punch on whatever wants to come in, and this Trick Room is scaring the shit out of me, man. So, all right. We're going to need to go for Mach Punch here. In comes the freaking Crab. Are able to do a lot there. And he's actually just going to finish this with a close combat. So it would have been really nice to end this matchup with Hitmonchan. But obviously because of the Adino. Unfortunately it was not in the cards. So now we have to go into Rapidash here. Uh, we are just going to click Flare Blitz. And uh, ooh, he's actually going to hard switch into Adino here. Which is interesting. So the Flare Blitz does 39%. And this thing's probably going to be a Wish set. Which is really annoying. Do I scout if this thing is going to wish? Or he could protect. If he protects on my Z-Power, that is going to be very bad. So, hmm. I think he's probably just... Let's, let's just go right for the Inferno Overdrive. So he doesn't protect. Uh, the Inferno Overdrive is going to be able to knock it out, which is super clutch. And I think he was actually trying to set up a Trick Room there. So now we're able to get Napalm to click Flare Blitz here. And that's going to do it. So that was an intense match. But the Napalm coming in clutch, boys. Good game, sir. All right. Game number two. That was a nail biter. To be honest, that was. I did not see myself winning that. But alrighty then. Let's get ourselves another one. All right. We got ourselves match number three. And uh, this guy's got an interesting team. We haven't seen a Shinotic yet. I never see a Shinotic ever. But uh, Skuntank is kind of an interesting mon. Potential taunts from that. He does have the Golurk lead, probably. Um, yeah, look like a pretty well, well, well rounded team. So let's go ahead and, uh, I think we're just gonna lead Regirock. I'm gonna say probably Golurk. Yeah, I'm just gonna lead Golurk. And it's looking like we're probably just gonna trade Stealth Rock here. It would be nice to get a Toxic off on that thing, but I do think that 
Getting Stealth Rock is going to be useful. He's just going to go right for an Earthquake, actually, which does 45% to us. Interesting. Um, let's go ahead and I think Swan is probably a good switch here. Uh, if he goes for the Earthquake, obviously it's not going to hit us. And also, if he sets up the Stealth Rock, we're going to be able to get in before that. And then we do pretty well. So let's switch into the Swana. Saying, yep, going to Stealth Rock, but we get in before that, which is fine. And now, um, I think we want to go for... So he can't bring in the Shenotic. He doesn't know this thing is Scarfed. Um, we are going to obviously be able to outspeed Golurk, but Electros is probably going to come in. This is when I really wish I had a pivot. I don't think he's... he's no way he's going to stay in here. we got to kind of make a prediction here. Um, I think he's going to go... Probably Electros, to be honest. And... Oof. We have a we have a decent switch for Electros, though. Let's just go right for a Scald. Um, maybe potentially get some burns. He is actually just going to stay in, so... The Golurk is going to Ice Punch, actually. Which is going to do a clean 79 to us. And now we're just going to Scald again. So now he's going to switch into the Electros. Interesting, he decided to stay in there. Should have been Choice Specs, damn it, Swana. Alright, we actually get the burn on the Electros, though, so that worked out perfectly. And now we do want to save Swana, potentially Rapid Spin. Um, let's go ahead and just go right into... Right into Lantern, which is an obvious switch. This thing's going to Giga Drain or something. But uh, he's actually just going to knock off. Okay. So it gets rid of the leftovers, but... We were able to get this thing to around half and burn, so that's actually really good for us. Um, I do kind of want to Volt Switch here. He's probably not going to go into Golurk. Uh, Lantern does look pretty good against this man's matchup, though. Let's go ahead and Volt Switch. He's going to stay in, which is interesting. So he's definitely going to... I'm going to say Giga Drain here. Let's go hit Monchan, and I'm going to try to Rapid Spin away these rocks. So there's the Giga Drain. Not going to do much, obviously. Assault Vest. Now we can go ahead and Rapid Spin damn rocks away. And the Shenotic is a good switch against this. Um, I don't have any... Don't have any poison on this team, which is quite unfortunate against Shenotic. But at least here we're going to be able to Rapid Spin. He doesn't have any ghosts to switch in uh, other than other than the fucking... Oh man, he's got the Golurk. I totally... Okay, we could switch into Golurk here. Which would be bad, this Golurk. Now that I'm thinking about it, it has a high chance of switching in. But I really want to get rid of these damn rocks. Damn it. Okay. Hmm, what do we do? He's going to bring in the Golurk. I don't want to switch in Napalm to get Stealth Rock damage. I think, I, man, I have I don't have anything to hit the Golurk with. That's actually a great hole to my Hitmonchan logic. Uh, he's definitely going to bring in that Golurk. Let's double into Swana. It actually goes Granbull. Uh, it's interesting. Granbull comes in for the Intimidate. I could have got the Rap has been off. Which would have been fantastic, but since we're intimidated here, and it's not looking like Swana is going to be able to come in, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get a rapid spin off. I think it's in my best interest to just go right for... I could go Hurricane or Scald. Hurricane for the damage would be nice, but the 70% accuracy would be shitty. We're going to go for the Scald. Burn, please. Damn it, no burn. Okay, well, at least we get the guaranteed damage. And uh, these fairies, man, are absolutely threats. Okay. I can't go into Hitmonchan. We can't take a play rough. Um, Red Rock can come in. I think we go into. In order to get a little bit of momentum, we gotta bring in the Rapidash here. We're gonna go for the Z Power, right for the Inferno Overdrive, which will knock out the Grand Bull. And it's gonna hit anything hard. So that's the good thing about having a Rapidash, is it outspeeds a lot, and not a lot can switch into uh, a Z Flare Blitz. So we're gonna just kinda see what happens here. Likely gonna be able to get a KO here. We definitely need some type of momentum. Okay, so he does stay in Inferno Overdrive. He's going to knock out the Grand Bull. So that is actually a pretty big threat to my team out of the way. Uh, unfortunately, though, now he gets a free switch into whatever he wants. So we'll see what he decides to go for. Um, using my Z power there does kind of set us back a little bit, but we're, we're okay. I believe in the power and the majesty of young Seabiscuit. I totally just thought about that um, SpongeBob episode where... He gets the seahorse. What the hell? Did he name it Majesty or Mystery or something? Okay. Well, anyway, anyway in comes a Skun Tank. Um, this is interesting. We could go for a Will O Wisp and kind of set this thing back quite a bit, or I could just go right for the high horsepower. I think I'm gonna go for the high horsepower. Uh, doesn't quite knock it out to 71. He's able to then crunch us, and now, okay, check the place. He's gonna he's gonna sucker punch while we Will O Wisp, or we're gonna totally misplay here. But I think Will O Wisp is probably the best bet. Ooh, this is a tough call. Because if he doesn't Sucker Punch, Rapidash dies. And Rapidash does very well because it outspeeds everything and just does a lot of damage. We're able to pretty much 
knock out this Wubat with a Wubat with a wild charge. Damn, he really has to go for the Sucker Punch here for us to come out on top here. We're gonna Will O Wisp. Yep, he does go for the Sucker Punch, so we get the prediction correct, and the burn is gonna land. So that is really nice. Um, now the question is, does he Sucker Punch again? It's gonna need to be a couple more burn damage turns. And uh, this is not looking very good for us, but I do want to try to conserve Rapidash. If I can keep Rapidash around, uh, that's going to be really nice for us to at least be able to get a solid fast attack off. Um, I do need to switch here, though, because he's just going to keep mashing Sucker Punch, I would assume. Unless he doesn't. Unless he just attacks, but man. I'm just really afraid of that Golur coming in. Okay, let's go hit Monchan here. We're going to try to get a Rapid Spin off just because I really, really need that. He's going to Poison Jab. Okay. So, we are going to... I don't think he's going to save the Skun Tank because this looks like a free Rapid Spin for us. He just does Sucker Punch. That is fine. We are able to Rapid Spin and we actually get a kill with Rapid Spin. And also Aftermath, which is annoying. But now he goes into Swoobat and we can't afford to let this thing set up on us. We're just going to Thunder Punch. As he's actually going to U-turn, which is interesting. And brings in the Shinotic. Okay. Well, I was kind of just hoping Hitmonchan was going to go down there. What does Shinotic even do? To be honest, I do not know. But. Hmm. What do I want to go in? I think I have to let Hitmonchan go down. All I know, all I associate with these things is like Strength Sap, to be honest. We're just going to Drain Punch. It actually does a decent amount. 35. Not even bad. And we get Effect Spored. <laughs> so it puts us to sleep before we die. Uh, that is fine. Now we get a free switch into whatever we want. Um, we're going to have to go into a little alien and go for the Psy Shock here. What is this thing going to do? Shinotic. Definitely a creepy ass Pokemon that is just really not, not around all that often, but let's kind of see. Uh, so the Electros is sitting at 52% and burnt. Uh, the Swoobat does die to... Uh, actually, it's 359. Swoobat fast as hell. Hold up. Swoobat outspeeds. <laughs> Luckily, we have Lantern for the Swoobat. We need to keep Lantern around. Um, damn, that's a threat. All right. Good to know. Um, the Golurk dies to pretty much anything. It's looking like Swoobat's the biggest threat, but I think we will be able to take care of it. He does get the damn Spore off because of the fact that... Oh, no. Oh, no. We need to wake up. Oh, we do actually wake up first turn. Wow. That was insanely lucky. Uh, the Spore was not even something I was anticipating there. That was scary. Okay, well, in comes the Electros. We are just going to... Could go into Lantern. I don't think Swoobat has anything to kill uh, Behem either. Let's go into Lantern here. Potential Volt Absorb. No, he's going to knock off again, which is fine. Uh, we can now just Scald, which is going to do, like, nothing because these things are always freaking Assault Vest as hell. Yeah, that's not good. we got to Volt Switch out of here, actually. We are going to Volt Switch. He's going to Giga Drain. Oof. He's actually not good. I maybe should not have Volt Switched there. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so... If, he, if we go Regirock, he's just going to Giga Drain and get a lot of health back. This is not good. You know what? We're going to have to go into Young Alien Boy. Giga Drain yet again. Um, this thing's probably going to be able to outspeed us. We just Psy Shock. Uh, the Giga Drain did 19% to us. Uh, Thunderbolts, I think does knock us out it's kind of a close call but i believe in the bulk every time i play against one of these things they always just seem way more bulky than they need to be that hp investment man goes a long way so we got some interesting plays here this did turn out to be a pretty good a pretty good match so far however this goes i'm happy with i'm happy with how this team performed right, when i build the team quickly and don't do any preparation with it I, it's kind of it's real hit or miss but in PU, it seems like we always have a chance to make some good stuff happen. So, this guy's really, really thinking about it here. What you thinking about, sir? Please just let me side shock you, your like toss. He's probably running damage calc, so I'm going to assume, uh, seeing if this thing is able to knock me out. Because Rapidash can't kill this, or else I'd kill myself to the recoil, which would be a very sad day but the timer is doing its thing so oh we could actually just knock off here huh but the cobra berry potentially could allow us to live the anticipation is killing me why are you doing this to me carnip carnip what are you what are you doing 
It's not even raining. What do you got? What do you got an umbrella for, bro? Okay, so he's actually just gonna stay in and Giga Drain. Uh, interesting. Psy Shock is gonna knock this thing out, and he is down to two. So now he goes Swoobat. Um, so this thing doesn't have any way to outspeed. Or it does. I mean, obviously, it does have a way to outspeed everything. If it fucking starts setting up here, though, we are definitely gonna lose. I think I need to go Psy Shock. Man, it's gonna. Is this thing gonna calm mind or nasty plot? It's gonna do something. We're just gonna click. Oh no, he's gonna U-turn. Okay. So, U-turn is gonna allow him allow him to bring in the Golurk. Um, I can just sack off Rapidash essentially because it's not gonna be able to outspeed the Swoobat anyway. Unless for some reason this thing isn't max speed. At max speed, it sits at 359, which is a threat. I don't know what he's thinking about here. He only has one option to switch into, and it's the Golurk. So there's really. He could be thinking about his strategy after the switch in. The Golurk is going to go down. The Golurk, I, I think. I'm pretty sure Lantern is going to allow us to win this. Because I don't think Swoobat without any boost is going to be able to knock it out. So in comes Golurk. Uh, we're going to go Napalm here. And we just click. Uh, I guess we just click High Horsepower. Go ahead and step on your Golurk. That's why he's got a Band-Aid. Okay, so then comes the Swoobat yet again. Uh, this thing ha Oh, no, he's got this Alec Berry, but it just boosts its speed, so. Psy Psychic is going to knock us out, and it's going to come right down to it. This thing does have... Don't these things get Giga Drain? Oh, man, it's going to get a great... It has a Grass move, I'm pretty sure. Man, with that simple ability, that plus two speed not really, obviously doesn't affect anything, but Swoobat is always a threat. Okay, well, we really have to go Lantern here and Volt Switch. I don't have T-Bolts on this thing. Unfortunately, I do think we lose this, depending on this Wubat moveset. Look at this thing in its damn heart nose. I hate you so much, Wubat. You absolute ugly monster. Lantern at 36%, I don't think is enough. If I still had my leftovers, we'd be in a much better position, but... Either way, we got ourselves a good match here. He's got one minute left on the timer. Uh, he's really thinking about what he's going to click. Either he's damage calcing or something. I'm sure Volt Switch still does knock this thing out. But, uh, come on here, buddy. Just allow me to Volt Switch you somehow. That would be fantastic. 30 seconds left on the timer. It's going to come right... He's going to bring it right down to the timer. What do you got for me, buddy? 20 seconds. Hello? Okay, he's just going to actually Psychic. We're able to live it, and the Volt Switch is going to kill the Swoobat. Specially Defensive Lantern is a unit. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's uh, showdown session. That was actually really fun. I love playing in PU. I do plan on doing some new tiers coming up here soon, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, it does really help out the channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.